Yeah? All right, cool. So, what else? What else are we going to talk about, Guasolo? Lupe, what are you going to talk about? Hello, and welcome to another, another edition of Sub Reviews. We are back here on Saturday TV to review Lupe Fiasco's latest work, Dragas Wave. Now, I'm just going to dive straight into the review because this is actually a brilliant in my opinion a brilliant piece of work and it is what i believe an album an album really should be simply because it had everything it had the it, it, it had the story down packed it had the, a great in, instrumentation i also had a feeling that i was in a theater but at the same time i had a feeling of this is like homework go home and dissect this but not in a good way, but in a way that it became a chore. And I'm going to explain this as we go into the review. The, 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 the reason why this album was so bittersweet to me was, I'm gonna first go into the story and analyze that. Um, the story, I gave it a 7.8 out of eight. Now, this is very positive, only from the artistic side. Um, and the story here was actually it was it, it was amazing they, uh, you have three three different stories happening in one constant in one album right there was a story of uh, of slaves actually um were thrown overboard they would they, they jump overboard and they obviously when you got to imagine yourself being in a situation like you jumping overboard from a slave ship that was taking you to captivity and there is no way back you're in the middle of the atlantic ocean correct and uh, and when you're jump when you're jumping in all you all you gotta do is basically breathe and death is in front of you but however lupe turns it around to to the what if narrative to say well they did breathe and they're able to live on the water so what ended up happening was they tried to sink other ships to to save those um to save those that were that were, that were being taken into captivity apart from them as well what? <laughs> to me this was great to me this was a real work of art right the next story here was the was the was the little girl that got shot and again lupe took the what if kind of narrative and uh, uh and was imagining what her life would be like after she got shot uh, as well as is a, a seven i believe it was seven year old uh, Sy uh syrian refugee this is another story in which he died uh from a swimming accident and i believe it was a swimming accident but nonetheless he, um the same thing yeah yeah he was drowning but the same thing that um that killed him was what gave him strength to save others it stuck out to me in a sense that all have one thing in common and this is uh the fact that it's all on on oppression and it's all on motivation and how we shouldn't really look at things that are essentially going to destroy us to be such a negative that it can have a positive impact as well like take for instance like just being in a very difficult situation i'm gonna take i'm, I'm gonna use way files which was the slavery story the the, the the song that basically brought the slavery story alive i'm gonna use that as an example of lupe's atlantic situation you know he's been involved in his record label and he deemed himself as oppressive etc right so that, that that's how he deemed that story and he used like the fact that he used wave files alone we know what wave st file stands for in music terms that's you making music the fact that he was stuck in this atlantic deal he described himself as he's a slave and all he had to do was breathe 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 get out of it and release such a masterpiece as this that's got people talking and <laughs> it's amazing it's literally amazing because he's actually he is actually playing god he's actually using such a powerful imagery to not only tell his life story but to also narrate another uh what if kind of factor to what if these people did live underwater and they were saving others and his example is literally just doing just that the fact that you don't not not really you don't need a label 
but it's just in the pure fact that the label the the label is not set up to actually help your career but to help themselves and you got to just breathe and swim in this ocean <laughs> which is the atlantic ocean <laughs> impeccable impeccable i i i can't fault it i can't fault I, 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 when i actually that was the only <laughs> i can't that was the only part of the story that i was like wow now i'm, I'm gonna use it to to actually segue to local content which the local content in this album was <laughs> i'm not i'm not even gonna i can't afford that either it was second to none it, it was amazing i'm not even gonna try and and dissect like there were so many things that he was saying on this album that made me realize how much he has progressed in such a short space of time like comparing this to his previous works i believe this is the best one i'm gonna go back to also the track the, just the first track alone where he was speaking in spanish and rapping in spanish this isn't easy to do especially and to keep the flow as well to be just I, I was really impressed i was really impressed especially for someone where spanish is not really his native language so i was really in, impressed by the way he was he, he was able to do this and i gave that 6.8 out of 7 as well now this is what i was talking about earlier in terms of the flow like um i earlier i i think I'm, i may have I don't, I don't i don't i don't think i said this earlier but earlier i really believe that although he he, he had a, this collection of stories right and they, they were well done it wasn't transitioned in the right way now i like the style he done it in because he done it as a movie like i, I like that movie idea the, the, the entire album was one hour 40 minutes which again i even i i don't like that not that it's too long but it wasn't done in a way that is gonna keep you interested if that made sense if that made any remote sense maybe it's my attention span i'm not too sure but i don't think it transitioned well from one story to another and from the other story to another like uh, at one point i really got lost between the transitions to each individual story i i had to really really pay attention to really grasp what he was talking about there was no cues there was no sort of indication to say i'm moving on to this story now i'm moving on to here now and this is really careless because if you're gonna do something as careful as this if you're gonna do something as as um as artistic as this it did this is the high level of abstract i'm talking about this is very high level stuff and i, I don't fault any of the stories however the way he arranged it it was a problem for me the only reason why i gave it a three out of five was because of the style alone because i like the way that he adopted this when i first listened to this right and even upon many listens two movies came into my head well one is a movie one is a series one was the fountain right and the other was black mirror both of them told three different stories and they all had the same theme one was how technology is changing our lives the other theme was um how much we need to accept the inevitability no matter what we do like so in the fountain you have hugh jackman and i believe it was kate Rachel Weisz. that's the one and both of these people were in love Rachel Weisz was, ba and you know, we have Hugh Jackman who was basically fighting to save, um, the, uh, to save his dying wife. The wife was writing the story and, you know, in three of the, of the writers that the wife was writing in, he was unable to save her. And the only time he did save her was when he accepted that she was going to die. That's a great story. I mean, it flew over, like, you know, it was quite simple. But the unifying thing was acceptance, right? And the transition between the past and the future lives and as well the present lives, they were actual constant. And they he went full circle. I, I'm not gonna I, I'm not here to, to re review the fountain. Um but I'm just saying that there was a unifying there, there was a way that he went full circle and you can actually get to see what story what the director was trying to tell us and you were not lost along the way. 
likewise but you need a couple more which which is good that you have to watch a couple more times to get it and the same thing with this album you have to listen a couple more times i like that that's why i rated highly on the, on the on the story aspect likewise with black mirror like black mirror this was a complete difference to, to the fountain because there there is no unifying there's no such oh come link this to this link this to that and i believe that you lupe fiasco should have done this because in black mirror you tell one story that story is done you tell another story that story is done you tell one another story that story is done however it has the unifying theme of technology is changing our lives you understand like that's the unifying theme within black mirror and how it's changing our lives so if that's what's happening in black mirror they don't try to link the whole story within this universe up they don't do that however lupe tries to do that in this album and i'm like and he and in this album he had more of the black mirror kind of appeal although it was done in 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 a unifying theme of oppression and how to combat it and how to which is basically just brief <laughs> he was trying to link every story into one and I, it just wasn't working I, I i just lost but nonetheless it was still a work of art i'm not gonna take that away 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 from it i like i like how he's still done it it's just the execution i i, I believe just the cru crucial part was out of whack but i hope that you all out there are finding some type of balance or searching to achieve some type of personal balance in your lives in the midst of all of this chaos and social craziness and school shootings and all these terrible events um, that are happening around the instrumentation though i this is it was top grade stuff this was lupe's uh, like his beat selection on this was actually amazing it was um i uh, i'm lost for words by what I, uh by the level of instrumentation on this it was done in trap form as well as what well. you also had that um you also had that old school hip-hop feel when you the more you you listen the deeper you get into the album however there is no however I, I can't i can't criticize the art like even i'm gonna go back to wave files even after wave files and then and then you go into slave ships correct right, right, right the the instrumental to really resonate what it must have been like to be underwater again and it really hit home what lupe must have been feeling to be under uh, the, the the situation in atlantic and all he had to do was breathe like I, I like that. I really enjoyed that. I mean, it was a, it was a bold move considering today's climate, but the the way he was able to execute that was <laughs> it was it showed you how great the instrumentation was. I gave it a four point five out of five overall um, it, for the instrumentation. And when you add up the scores, it's twenty two point one out of twenty five or eighty eighty eight point four percent that's even with this 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 is the most honest rating even though i was let down by the fact that it, it didn't flow as well as it should have however though even without this when you actually sit down and dissect the album it's it's a masterpiece like i like so my final thoughts on the work I, I, it was impressive it was it was it was something that i believe should be deserving I mean, it, it, it was like he saw Kendrick win the Pulitzer Prize and he's like, right, I'm going to go do something that will better that and I'm going to be part of that. And honestly, I can see, I can see, I, 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 honestly, I really wish he, he he is mentioned because the the level... Com I'm, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna compare this work to them because it, 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 it's two different type of ideas going on here however I believe it should be up there and it was high especially the instrumentation on this album wow the way he has it's not a generic trap sounding album but it's a trap album when you think about it it's actually a trap album a majority of the or the majority of the beats that were selected for this album it was a trap form and it's not your generic trap it's literally lupe's interpretation of trap and it, it made you feel like 
the direction in hip hop is going and if he can retain this kind of storytelling is actually a very good direction and I, I, and it does leave a marker to what people should focus on when they're embarking into hip hop I really love that aspect I'm just here in the surface level I mean there's some great theories out there you can go watch it you can and you can get a more understanding on this album but as a review f format go listen to this work and take your time you do need a full attention which was the downside of, in my in my opinion of this album it just didn't give you cues to be like it, and it was just it was just too much it was it was too much in the in the sense that it was like homework it was like a chore sometimes after you gone past Ray, Ray, Ray Files and he didn't really transition well into the next story, it was like a chore then. You, 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 I, I, I can't count the amount of times I was looking into my phone to see what track is on and if it's near the end. Not that it was bad. It was just, okay, but can we please get to the point? Like sometimes, you know, that. but that's only because of the flow of the album. It's not because it was a bad album. It's not because it was it didn't have the right story. It's just it wasn't brought together the, and held the way it should have been held. Anyway, that was um this was um Drogas by Lupe Fiasco. The review. Um, like and subscribe to this page if you if you love the content, and don't forget to hit the notifications button. Once again, this album is a work of art. I'm not I'm not bashing it one bit. I actually admire and I want more artists to follow this style of, of storytelling.